using the calc menu. We can access the calc menu by pressing the second key, then the trace key. And this is what it looks like. From here we have seven options. We're going to examine most of them today. We can go to y equals and enter a function. We're going to use this one for the most today, negative x squared plus x plus 12, a quadratic function. And when we graph that function, it looks like this. We're going to go to second, trace, and we're going to choose value by pressing enter. And we can enter, it says x equal, we can enter whatever we want as an input value for x. In this case, we're going to enter 3. And when we do that, we get a solution of x equals 3, y equals 6, or, or 3 comma 6. And there it is. We can go ahead and enter something else. Now let's go to 0. And when we do that, we're, we have the opportunity of finding the zeros that is the x-intercepts where our function crosses the x-axis. It asks us first for left bound and our cursor is over here and we're going to arrow over to the left and then we're going to continue arrowing until we get below the x-axis and when we get there we press enter and it sets a little inward arrow above and it asks now for right bound so we're going to arrow up to just above the x-axis and press enter a second time and we have two inward facing arrows we press enter our last time and we get our zero or our root of x equals negative three y equals zero and there it is we can do the same thing to the other side but here we're going to go to second trace and we're going to go look at a maximum we have a downward facing parabola so that has a maximum and not a minimum. An upward facing parabola would have a minimum. We're going to go to, to maximum. However, when we look at the graph, we don't see the vertex of that parabola because it's up above our, our visible view screen. So we're going to go to our window view and change y max from 10 to 15. And we're going to graph it to be sure. And we see that indeed we see the maximum of the parabola. Now we're going to go to second, trace, and now down to four, maximum press enter and it asks us for the left bound initially and we should see that we have uh, our cursor is just to the left of the vertex so we press enter and now it asks for right bound so we arrow over a few strokes to the right till we get to the right side of the vertex and press enter again and now we have two inward facing arrows it's hard to see them there with the congestion but when it says guess we press the final time and it gives us a maximum of x equals 0.5, y equals 12.25. Now we're going to go to second, trace, and down to intersect. And this is typically what we use frequently for finding a solution to systems of equations. But here with a quadratic function, we're going to use as well. We go to the y equals mode, and we enter a second equation, x y equals zero we made it a thick line so we're going to go to second trace five enter 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 and we get an intersection of x equals negative three y equals zero and so that's one of our solutions we can also find the other solution if we should so desire now we're going to go to y equals and we're going to delete y2 equals zero and we're going to go to second, trace, and we're going to look at our, our final two options, six and seven. And I have the image of Newton here to represent that with these two last options, six and seven, these are options of calculus. So we're getting into a little bit of calculus today. We're going to choose six first, and we have a point we can scroll wherever we want to on this parabola, and wherever it stops, Wherever we stop, we can evaluate the slope. dy over dx is the slope, the change in y relative to the change in x. And we press Enter, and we find that dy dx is negative 5. So the slope at this point is negative 5. We've just done calculus. Now if we go to second, 
trace, we can go down to 7, and we're going to do integral calculus, and it's asking us first for the lower limit, and so we're going to arrow over to the far left to the x-intercept on the left of negative 3, and we press enter, and now it's asking us for upper limit, so we're going to, after the arrow have been set here, we're going to arrow over to the right x-intercept, press enter, and there it is, we press enter again, and we see this darkened area. And this number here represents the shaded area under the curve, integral calculus. We have a chance to look at the basic features of the calc menu, become familiar with it. Uh, take an opportunity to look at evaluating quadratic functions. That's also a very good teacher of using the calc menu. Thanks for coming.